Hello there, YouTube. Kenny here, aka Final Fantasy V. Uh, doing a vlog. Uh, doing a quick vlog, actually, maybe seven, eight minutes. But uh, I realized I haven't really done a vlog lately that kind of really tells more about me than what I usually put out there. So what I'm doing is I'm going to answer a few random questions off of a, an actual blog off BuzzFeed. Um, I think I could be wrong, but I think these questions are more directed toward the women. But it'll be interesting to see what I can come up with for them. So let's go ahead and jump right in, shall we? Uh, let's see. Okay. Last thing you Googled. Wow. Um, actually, the last thing I Googled was World of Warcraft PNG. Um, no, I'm wrong. Actually, the last thing I Googled was a Toy Story GIF. Uh, I'm on 9 gag a lot, and you know I like to post stuff. If you don't know what 9 gag is, it's actually a website with a bunch of memes and GIFs. A very simple layout, very simple. I used to go to meme base a lot, but lately it's become corroded and corrupted with ads and freeware and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, yeah, it'll be good. so it's a Toy Story GIF. Um, it was Andy choosing between a Playboy and Woody. In most real life situations, uh, you would be handling both. So, let's see. What's your favorite reality show? A favorite reality show? I don't really get into reality shows. I never really have. Um, the last one I actually watched at least a couple episodes of was The Surreal Life on the CW. Uh, it had different B-list celebrities like MC Hammer back when he first became a priest or a preacher. Uh, it also had... Um, uh, a couple other people, Eric Estrada and some other folks. It was a it was a decent show. Um, before that, I was kind of into uh, Beauty and the Geek, which is only on for a few seasons, but it was a good show. Uh, Perfect Friday Night. You know, as of late, Perfect Friday Night for me is playing Warcraft with my wife. She's sitting behind me. We're both doing our thing. We'll join up every so often in maybe a random queue, but most of the time we're both kind of out of party just doing our thing talking back and forth about you know what we got she actually just tonight got uh, the legendary bow from Sunwell which was exciting um, so yeah that's you know that's become my standard Friday night for the most part um, yeah pretty cool who is your soul have crush who don't I have a crush on um, right now actually uh, it would be Felicity from Arrow I've always had a thing for nerdy girls like that, you know, the, the pretty ugly girls, I guess. Um, before her, it was Allison Hannigan, uh, who played, again, you know, nerdy girl on Buffy, and uh, Allison Mack. I've always had a thing for girls named Allison. It's weird. But anyway, Allison Mack, who played Chloe in Smallville. Um, so, yeah, but currently, it would have to be, uh, I, can, I can never remember her name. Uh, I know Katie Lotz, who was the original... Uh, Black Canary in Arrow, but I can never remember Felicity's real name. I don't know why. But yeah, Felicity from Arrow. Uh, favorite word in the English language? Delicatessen. It's a weird one. Delicatessen. Uh, deli for short. Uh, the reason I like that word is because it actually won me um, a division-wide spelling bee. I used to be really big in the spelling bee back in the day. and um, But the one that tripped me up, the one that I hate the most, is Circuit. I was still young. I thought circuit was spelled S-I-R-C-U-I-T. It was actually C-I-R-S-U-I-T. So, yeah. Uh, delicatessen and circuit. Uh, that's actually the next question. What was your least favorite word? Uh, let's see. Dr. Cats. Cats. I love cats, but unfortunately I can't have them because my wife's highly allergic. Um, it's kind of a bummer, but we have a dog. So that's nice. Uh, cake or ice cream? Both. Cake and ice cream. Best thing in the world. I know I have to answer if I had to answer or. I can't. It's not possible. Both. There, we'll leave it at that. Movies or TV? Again, both. Um, most of the, well, most of the time movies, though, because there's really not a whole lot on TV that I watch unless, unless something piques my interest and then, uh, then I oof, latch on to it. Uh, cooking or delivery? You know, before I met Amber, I did some cooking. Um, before we moved in together, I did some cooking, not a whole lot. I tend to, I tended to eat out a good bit. Uh, what was within my budget, anyway? You know, Taco Bell, McDonald's, stuff like that. And being a Warcraft player, it kind of goes with the territory because you don't want to get up. But um, lately, we've been doing a lot of cooking. So there's that. 
We do some delivery every so often, but you know we're eating, and cooking within budget. So, Twitter or Instagram? Oh, that's easy. I don't have an Instagram, so Twitter. Um, just join Twitter. I've been doing it a good bit ever since it was implemented into Warcraft. Um, I've also been using it to promote Saving Worlds a little bit. So, there you go. <laughs> Taylor Swift or Katy Perry? Wow. You know what? That that falls under the celebrity crush. Um, Katy Perry is near the top of my list, but not within the top five. Uh, but I'd have to go with Katy Perry. I like her music. It's a lot more uplifting, I believe, than Katy Perry's. Um, I haven't really listened to any, any of uh, Taylor Swift's new stuff, but Katy Perry, even though, even though she may be semi-horrible live, she does a hell of a pop song, and I will give her that. So, what's your favorite song right now? You know what? Right now, it's actually um, I'll Make a Man Out of You from the Mulan soundtrack. Always been one of my favorite songs, and I recently heard Jonathan Young do a rock version of it, and it's been in my head ever since. In fact, I came came home one day from work singing it, and it was crazy. Favorite song of all time? Favorite song of all time? Whoa. Wow, I was on a roll. Now I'm not. Uh, you know what? Bohemian Rhapsody. That might sound like a cop out of the question because every, every pretty much everybody would say Bohemian Rhapsody, but it's such a great song, and Queen did such a great job on implementing so many styles of music into it that. Yeah, I'll have to go with that. If you know, if I had to, if I had to choose a song to die by, you know, like I'm in a firefight or something, it would be Bohemian Rhapsody, just because it would fit. You know, so there you go. Uh, let's see, favorite Beyonce song. I, heck, if I know, um, I, <laughs> it's, really, it's more towards women. <laughs> this is funny though. Uh, you know what? Put a ring on it. Why not? We'll just put that out there. Favorite acting role? Oh. <laughs> Apparently this is geared towards actors. Um, I've never really done any acting. Well, I have, actually. I was in a couple of uh, middle school programs. Um, what was I in? Wow. Janie, get your gut. Yeah. I was a backdrop. That's about the closest thing. Uh, let's see. Who's your doppelganger? You know, if I, had to, if I had to pick a celebrity doppelganger, and that, this has actually happened from behind, mainly. But I've been mistaken for Bill Murray. Um, it, it, it was crazy. Uh, I went to a store from behind. Somebody was yelling and pointing at me like, Holy crap! What are you doing in here? I turned around and the guy looked at me and was like, Oh! Dude, I'm sorry. You look like... It's crazy. You look like Bill Murray from mine. So, I guess Bill Murray. I don't know. I, I, I've i never been told that I look like a celebrity. Really. Um, I've been told that I look like uh, Russell Crowe when he's with a little bit of weight on him. But, that's about it. Biggest pet peeve. Biggest pet peeve. Something that really gets under my skin. Uh, wow. That's a good question. Biggest pet peeve. I can't think of anything. I mean, honestly, I'm not... I mean, I'm sure there's something, but it happens so seldom. I don't know. Let me get back to you on that one. I can't, I can't think of anything. The last person who texted me. My mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mama's boy. I'll admit it. Any hidden talents? You know what? It's not a talent per se, it's actually pretty useless, but I can do this with my thumbs. Yeah, pretty weird, right? Tell us a secret. I'm pregnant. <laughs> not a secret. Um, tell us a secret. What's a secret that I could share that wouldn't be damaging to me socially or my reputation online? What reputation I have left? Uh, 
you, you know, I, I don't have any. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of secrets. I am an open book. I I tell everything for the most part. Uh, there is very little, very little that I could say that would be surprising to most people. And I'm trying to think of something from when I was younger. Okay, you know what? I cut myself with a Swiss Army knife when I was younger. Not really a secret, but and it wasn't like, oh, I'm cutting myself. No. Um, actually, there is a scar right in there that I still have. I was opening a Swiss Army knife, and it cut me. So, you know what? That qualifies, I suppose. We'll go with that. So, yeah, that's the end of the list. All right. Well, thanks for watching. 10 minute video, not bad. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. I will see you later. Remember, you are an awesome person. Never let the world tell you otherwise. And uh, if you want to do one of these, feel free. I will definitely watch. Just let me know down below. See you.